Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Velo Women's Angel TT Bicycle Saddle. So here we have one of Velo's latest additions to their Angel series of bicycle saddles. With the Angel series, Velo combines all their highest technology and material sciences into really high performance and comfortable saddles. What we have here today is the latest version, which is the women's variation of the Angel TT, which itself was introduced earlier this year. Packaging wise, super simple. You get this nice cardboard box, the Velo logo on here, and this reflective print, website on the side, and not much else. So pretty simple. Now while I take it out of the packaging, let's go over the specs. The retail price on the saddle is $189 for the titanium alloy variation. That's what we have here today. There's also a carbon variation, which is lighter, but more expensive at $290. And with the Angel series, this women's version matches all the same features as the men's Angel TT. So you get the Arctec rails, and that's a unique way to attach the rails to the base of the saddle. It's designed for additional shock absorption. As you can see here, it comes in at a pretty sharp angle. You also get the Y cutout here. And you can see it looks like a Y. This also helps with shock absorption and pressure relief. Now with the women's variation that we have here, the primary difference is the actual foaming. So the foam here is designed to have better shock absorption and comfort than the standard variation. And you can see as I touch it, it's quite soft near the front. The edges, yet it has good dampening. So uh, this is a good saddle for both road cycling and off-road cycling, so mountain biking as well. The packaging is really nice as well. You can see you have a nice foam cutout here that holds it in place pretty well. A really nice way to present it. And you can tell that this is a stubby nose saddle. So pretty nice to see here. This is a market trend you see a lot of saddles these days. The dimensions on this is 241 by 143. So standard width, but a lot shorter than the uh, traditional saddles. So now let's take a look at the weight of the saddle. As I mentioned, this is the titanium alloy version, so a little bit heavier than the carbon, but it comes in at 196 grams, so pretty light, especially for this price point. Now let's go over the fit and finish of the saddle. Visually, I think the design of the Angel TT saddle is really nice. You can see it has a T profile to it. It's fairly flat, but not as flat as, say, a Sella Italia. There's a slight dip near the middle. You can see it also rolls off on the sides. Uh, this is a pretty standard width at 143 millimeters, so if you're a wider person or have wider seat bones, uh, I'd recommend going for something a little bit wider than this. Graphically, I really like the white finish on this. You can see half of the saddle has a graphical logo on here with these little lines, and that extends all the way across. And then to break up the left hand and the right hand side, you have the Velo logo, and then solid white on the other half with the angel uh, logo written on here as well. It's a really nice looking saddle. And what's also unique about this is that the base extends out past the saddle. So you can see here it's a nylon base and it has a matte black finish with the Velo logo on here kind of ghosted on. So it gives it a unique appearance. And with the Y cutout as well, it's a nice variation of the traditional uh, center cutout. That gives it a little bit more unique touch. It also helps with some of the shock absorption as this whole section is not attached to each side so you have more room to kind of flex. The material is a polyurethane cover and it feels slightly grippy to the touch. It's also fairly soft too with the proprietary woman's variation foam here. It has good shock absorption so you can see as I push down it has some softness to it but also rebounds pretty quickly. And almost like memory foam you can see it takes a little bit uh, it takes a few seconds for it to actually rebound. It has variable density too, so you can see the front of the nose is quite soft. The edges are quite soft and a little bit firmer near the middles. They also have their Arctec rail design, which is a little bit unique. So you can see here, it comes in at a pretty steep angle. And that helps with the shock absorption again as this can go up and down. Another thing to note is that the rails here provide almost two inches of adjustability between the stop points. And we found that it's a little bit wider than some of our other saddles, so you have more adjustment with this, which is a nice thing to have, especially if you want to dial in your fit. The other thing to note is that you do have a seam between the upper and the base. So you can see here 
along these edges, this is where it attaches. And that could be a little more difficult to clean. So especially if you go in dirt or gravel, uh, the dirt can kind of get stuck at the edges of this. So it's something to watch out for. But otherwise, I think it's a really good looking saddle. And with the stubby nose design, it's very compact. So now let's do a little comparison with some other saddles on the market. First, we'll start with a older model Sella Italia Flight. This is a really popular saddle that became an instant hit back in the 1990s when it was introduced. Now, well, the reason I have this for comparison is you can see that with a Sella Italia, it's flatter. So you can see how this actually uh, curves up a little bit more. And with the short nose stubby saddle trend that's going on the market, you can see how impressive this is. They've really chopped off the front of the saddle. So really compact compared to a traditional saddle. This allows you to have a little more aggressive position and less discomfort, especially when you switch it between drops or more upright position. Now, if we compare it to the new Sella Italia Boost, you can see that they both have the stubby nose style. So almost the same uh, length. The uh, Angel TT is actually a little bit shorter. Otherwise, pretty similar. The widths are almost identical. The nice thing about the Sella Italia is they actually print uh, the length and width on here. Uh, with the Velo Angel TT, you don't actually have any markings on here, so uh, in a couple of years you might be unsure of which saddle you have. Otherwise, I think they both feel premium. I like the white design on here and the little graphical treatment. It's subtle enough, but it really stands out. And you can also see the difference between the cutout design. So with Sella Italia, you have something called Superflow, which is their uh, variation on the center cutout. Uh, this one doesn't have the cutout, but it has the relief uh, channel here. And you can see with the uh, Velo TT, they've actually extended that up and all the way back. So definitely a unique uh, variation. The other saddle we have here to compare to is Velo Senso Ray. This is a more premium, a lower cost, but premium saddle at $89. And what's interesting here is this is a lot heavier. So this is 242 grams, uh, almost the same as the Selle Italia. So it's a heavier saddle, while this is almost 200 grams. Uh, Material-wise, same polyurethane, but the foam on here is much softer. So you can see when I put these side by side, this has a little more comfort to it. And with the Y cutout, it extends much further. And the Arc uh, Tech rails here, you can see the difference with the mounting design. Uh, while this one just kind of folds in, this has more of a little twist to it and a steeper angle. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Angel TT saddle. What we like about the saddle is the unique design. The graphical treatment on this is really subtle, yet sets the saddle apart from other saddles on the market. Also, the women-specific padding offers really good shock absorption and comfort without the bulk of traditional padding. And finally, the stubby nose and center cutout offer a lot of pressure relief and the ability to ride this on or off-road and in more aggressive positions comfortably. Some of the cons for the saddle is the fact that it doesn't come in any size variations. So you want to make sure this size works well with your anatomy. Also, this may not be in your local bike shop shelf, but I do recommend talking to them about ordering this because it is available through a variety of distributors. And finally, the dimensions are not printed on the saddle. It's a nice feature to have, especially if you forget which dimensions you have or if you ever need to sell this further down the line. Taking everything into account, we would give the Women's Angel TT Saddle an 8.8 .8 out of 10. It's a really nice, sleek, and premium saddle. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com, as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.